Good morning, uh, the Deputy President of the Chiefs Council, uh, Mr. Charumbira. How are you, sir? I'm fine. How are you? Yes. Uh, we saw the program which was started by the President, Emerson Nangakwa, the program about the Kukura Wundi. We've heard a lot. We've seen stories going out. We are seeing you with the chiefs engaging the people. How is the program going? What is going to happen? And maybe you enlighten the masses who are listening now. What will happen from now on? From now on, we are moving to the outreach. Outreach meaning the chiefs will conduct meetings with the victims in their areas of jurisdiction. And I want to emphasize the point that a lot of people have raised some concerns about language, for example, that you need to interact with the victims in their own language. It is true. Because no chief will go to hear submissions by victims who is not the chief of that area. So the only the chief of the area, if we are talking of Ma, Chief Ma, Ma, Ma Sen, we are talking of Chief Ndube, it is Chief Ndube and the head people. No outside that chief will come and engage people in an area. This is a very important point because most people have shown concern that how can the chief from somewhere come to uh, interact with the victims? No, uh, no chief from another area would do that. I want to repeat that point. It is the local chief that he is so happy. So this is not a Charumbira project. Charumbira no. won't be going to Nkai, won't be going anywhere. No, the no. local Kobo Kobo chiefs, Kobo Kobo will deal with his own people. Yes. And then he collect whatever data. Yes. And the people working with this Kobo Kobo will be coming from the same area as well. Yes. Okay. So chief Kobo Kobo will be assisted by a panel of 13 people from the community again who will sit as a panel. And among that panel is the chief chairing of the all elders in the community. You have pastors from that community, you have women uh, representatives on the panel, you have youth, you have counseling people who, have, who are uh, experts in counseling issues, among others, 14 panel. But all these people are local people, no one from outside. What about these people who are outside the country now? What can they do to so that they put their own input in there? I will answer that to and linking it with the Midlands issue. Okay. Because people say, but we've left out Midlands. We've said, no, this is part one, if I call it. It will give us some insights into the best way of addressing the ground issue. We'll move to Midlands after Mad North, Mad South, and any other area that uh, we experienced with distant uh, activities or ground activities. Those that are outside, definitely we will not go to hear people outside the country. But this process will take probably six months or more. So we encourage those that are outside the country who have claims to make to come back. Yes, from South Africa over the weekend. Come, if you are busy at work in South Africa, you can schedule a meeting with your chief for a weekend on Saturday or Sunday. Appear and you go back. Because if we're in the United States of America, it's a different story. But we assume you come back once in a year, uh, back to Zimbabwe. But for us to go out and interview people from outside the areas where things, these things happen, we, we may also become victims of getting information which is uh, distorted, which is false information. Yes. So we, the diaspora are welcome, but they should enjoy. They will go to their own chiefs. Chiefs. Uh, there are victims who are already dead now. How will these people be identified and what will happen to them? Because now you are meeting the real victims who are still alive. What about those who are, who are tired, who are late now? The living will speak on behalf of the dead. Okay. That's basically how I can answer. The living will be, speak on behalf of the dead. Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, there, there's some publication newspapers which uh, actually led. You're having a workshop, sanitization with the media here, and uh, some of the newspapers uh, gave uh, uh, headlines and say you are saying it wasn't a genocide, what happened. I don't know why they're saying attacks, those things that is a genocide. No, the, the, this, this exercise is based on the, the cultural, traditional ways of resolving conflicts within our jurisdictions. When you say genocide, it is something alien 
to us as traditional leaders. So allow us as traditional leaders to use the methods of uh, peacemaking, conflict resolution within our own traditions and cultures. We have seen this in Rwanda. It has worked wonders. One of the best examples of uh, peacemaking in Rwanda is the most peaceful to the, the continent. So we are also saying, let's not try and import other language, terminologies, and approaches which are not within our own cultural uh, ways of doing things. <coughs> so when you say uh, genocide, for example, it, it, does it, how does it fit in a, a, a traditional context? Or maybe it fits somewhere in another area or another jurisdiction outside Zimbabwe. Okay, this but is for the chiefs. This is for the chiefs, and it's yes. done according to the values of a particular chief. If in your area, for example, you find that family X within their community murdered in family Y, the chief will say, no, in terms of our culture, you murdered their son or their daughter, and this is how we resolve the dispute. You are going to give us two heads, three heads of cattle, and give the other family, for example. So we want it resolved in our own traditional ways, which have survived over centuries. Okay. Lastly, uh, what do we intend to achieve after you collect all this data? What will happen if you collect all the information about the victims or those who are deceased? Now, what will happen afterwards? Will they get compensation? What are you planning to do? I confirm that there will be compensation for okay. the cases that are clear, verified, and the, 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 what they, where they suffered, what they lost. The president himself, the head of state, he said, we will compensate. And that's why we are going out to get all those cases verified, authentic claims, and people will be compensated. Hmm. Lastly, what do you say to the masses, especially people from Matelian North, Matelian South, Bulawayo, and Midlands? What do you say to them, lastly, that they should participate in this? Ultimately, whenever, whenever there's been conflict across the world, and I want to say Rwanda, where within three months there was ethnic cleansing between Hutu and Tutsi. One million people died. But if you go there today, this happened in 1991. I was happened in 1981 to 86, much earlier. So ours has survived much longer, the emotions much longer. If the Rwandans who did it 10 years later have already resolved and they are moving peacefully, we should also aim to resolve our problems. We are one family, one country. By the design of God, he made us into one country. There are so many tribes. Zimbabwe is not about Shona and Devere only. Even among the Shonas, you have your Karangas, your Ndawus, your, 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 your Zizurus and all that. So if each ethnic group fights another, surely we will not get anywhere. We need to unite. And this process should be supported. Those who have ideas come forward but with a constructive intent that we have to resolve our problems, our grievances. People should be happy and say, okay, it's now past. Yes. Thank you very much for your time. I know you're a busy man and I had to take you out of the meeting to talk to you. I really appreciate uh, Chief Chalumbera. Thank you. Thank you, Asan. All right.